Welcome to this week's Confessions of an SEO. This is Carolyn Holzman. Today's episode is part two of episode 17. If you missed it, I'm jumping back into discussing a post that showed up on Facebook in an SEO group. And if you're new, in episode six, I put out a roadmap about the different types of recurring segments. And this one is an example of the Facebook mailbag. In these, I respond to the topic addressing to the business owner or stakeholder first, and then to the SEO. Last week, my response was to the business owner. This week is for the SEO. Before I come, I wanna mention again, before I left the CD business um, to be a full-time SEO, I was a business owner. So I have the ability to see these things often from both sides, the business owner and the SEO. And I hope by sharing this, it, it helps uh, us as SEOs kind of know how to move forward in certain circumstances. So like I've said before, this podcast is really love letters to the SEO and the businesses that they serve. Here we go. And this was posted in a Facebook uh, group, an SEO group. So if it sounds familiar, then yeah, we're in the same group. Hi, I just want your opinion on something a client is asking for. What do you guys think? Is this something you would take on? The client is from the uh, UAE and is asking for off-page, on-page, and PPC. The first month, they want 10% of the keywords ranking on page one. Third month, 30% ranking on page one. And by the sixth month, 60% ranking page one. And if uh, these goals are not reached, the payment can be delayed until it is. Now I converted the, um, they were discussing a different currency, but basically it's $2,000 a month for the SEO, the on-page, off-page, and the Google ads budget is around $830. And that includes the, the, the management fee. So the question is, they ended with, what do you guys think? Well, I'll tell you what I think. To be fair, I totally get the fascination. $2,000 a month, even in the US, is a nice SEO project. But let's look a little deeper. First off, why would you let the client determine the timeline for Google? Can you do that? Can you tell Google that you're gonna give Google 30 days to rank your content or, or else? Seriously? Also, if you don't know how long it takes for Google to crawl and index, or that the timeline in between the crawl and index is when things get recalculated, you really wanna let this go. If you take it on and you don't know about all this stuff about Google, then you don't know that you're not gonna get paid. And that's, you have to know what the likelihood is that you're gonna get paid or not paid, which is kind of sad in our industry, but it is the way it works. Now, what about the competition? What do you even know about that? why would you start to play a game against a team you don't know? And I get the other reason. If you're good, these things feel like a challenge. You know, I I refer you to Exhibit A. Google doesn't give a shit how long it takes to index. They have their hands full. They don't work for you. This brings me around to how can you make this work if you know your skills, you're up to the level of competition you're entering. Plus, let's talk about the PPC budget. How has that arrived? Who, who, Who determined that? That fee also includes your management of the paid campaign. And that is not something you really can just sort of let go because you know you're this is a limited budget, so you're gonna to have to keep your eye on it. So here's what I here's what I think. Tell this jack wagon no and here's why and list the three things. You can pick whatever you want. And then once you say those three things, stop talking and see what they do. If they say okay and hang up, well you got away. This is likely some business owner that's convinced the results are going to be gotten through threats, imitation, intimidation, and more threats. That's not a business you can tell the truth to without them throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Move on. Now, if they start talking and saying things like, well, that's refreshing. Most people are not so forthright. I like that in the people I trust. Well, now you have an opening and an opening to educate them, learn from them because they might have a really keen awareness of their audience that you can use if you have the chance. If they want some analysis of their competition now that you've started to educate them, remember that should be paid unless they show you their homework and it's actually their digital competitors. You know, some people say, I've had all that done, I know who they are. Trust me, they don't. 
but just in case they do, ask for proof. And please, please, don't throw this in like it's a free bottle of ketchup. Thanks for shopping here, loss leader. I know this is a hard thing to do, but you must step into the role of leader when it comes to the digital marketing. There is no way that they know what you know or can do what you do. They are paying you by the hour. Please, dear God, don't let them pay you by the hour. You're the one that knows how to look at a SERP, determine what kind of challenge this will be, and then to do what is necessary to win each spot up to page one and then each spot up on page one. That knowledge is what they're paying to have access to. Now for my fellow SEOs, and this is most likely for my SEO sisters, in these moments, this is where we run the chance of being called too aggressive when we turn down work. So I'd like to quote Dr. Edith Egar. She's an Auschwitz survivor, and she's still with us. Well, as of this morning, an author of the book called The Choice, Embrace the Possible. Quote, to be passive is to let others decide for you. To be aggressive is to decide for others. To be assertive is to decide for yourself. And that's what I hope this podcast engenders in our SEO community. The ability to decide for ourselves what we will do and how we will do it for the betterment of ourselves, our industry, and our clients. Well, that's it for this week on Confessions of an SEO. Thank you so much for coming. This is Carolyn Holzman. And I just want to remind you that uh, if you have any questions or comments, please send them to confessions at AmericanWayMedia.com. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the SERPs.